project is called How to Preserve a Flower, and I was basically trying to figure out if there was another fluid that could preserve a flower just as well as fertilized water could. My hypothesis for sugar water was that it won't harm the flower, but it will attract ants. Um, for Dr. Pepper, that it will stunt the growth of the flower. For the milk, it would help the flower from its nutrients and vitamins. For the fertilized water, it won't harm the flower in any way, but it would actually make the flower healthier. For salt water, it would rip up the vine and potentially kill it. Um, diluted bleach would destroy the flower and also kill it. And food coloring won't harm the flower, but it will turn the petals blue. My materials were seven four-ounce identical vases, seven mums, which aren't the flowers, one tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of bleach, five drops of blue food coloring, water, a pack of fertilizer, milk, and Dr. Pepper. My, <laughs> my procedure was, step one, was to line up all the seven four-ounce vases. Step two is to pour in the specific fluids. Step three would be to put in the mums, and step four, to take data every day and to take pictures. Over here, these are the pictures of the flowers on the first day. This is sugar water, Dr. Pepper, milk, fertilized water, salt water, diluted bleach, and food color. And then over here are them in order again. These were the fifth day of what happened, so these are before and after. figure out if you could put the flowers in a different kind of fluid that would help preserve them just as well as for the life Caleb? 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 My hypothesis? For the sugar water, it won't harm the flower, but it will attract ants. For Dr. Pepper, it will stunt the growth of the flower. For milk, it will help the flower from its nutrients and vitamins. For fertilized water, it won't harm the flower in any way, but make the flower healthy. For salt water, it will rip up the vine and potentially kill the flower. For diluted bleach, it will do the same thing. For food coloring, it won't harm the flower, but turn the petals blue. Alexis. What was the question you trying to figure out? Um, is fertilized water really the best thing for your flowers? Is what? Is fertilized water really the best thing for your flowers? OT. No, you have to grade yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 on your project. What would you give yourself and why? <laughs> eight, eight and a half, probably because I worked really hard on this. Took a long, well, yeah, it took a long time to do, and I think I learned a lot from it. Tony? Can I just be crazy? Oh, yeah. Okay. My conclusion, my results were proven to be correct, um, and only two of the seven fluids preserved the flower, which were the fertilized water and the sugar water, and therefore the other fluids did not accomplish that goal. So the sugar water and the fertilized water preserved the place. Yes. What the liquid held um, the plant? Preserved them the best? I mean, like... What, like, liquid made the flower die? Okay, um, that would be the, basically the one that made the dye the, boat, the most would be salt water and diluted bleach. But the ones that help preserve it the most would be sugar water and fertilized water. Lexus? The purpose? I wanted to figure out if there were any other fluids that could help preserve flowers better than fertilizer. OT? Uh, would your hypothesis right or wrong? It was correct.
2011 School Science Fair. I'm glad that you were able to join us, and we look forward to most of us coming together for the spring field trip and seeing not only each other's presentations that you send to the regional Tri-County Fair, this is the 65th Annual Science Engineering Fair of Central Detroit. You'll get to uh, take a field trip to that. You get to put your own presentations up there. We've had winners in the past, even up to a grand prize award. So look forward to see how we do here. So we'll talk more about the entry process for the middle schoolers, uh, how that will work. But for all of you, I just want to say thank you for coming and have a great day.